On the evening of July 25, 2023, Rock Island police officers made an unannounced visit to Sushi Staples' home on 20 and a half Avenue. The visit followed an anonymous tip to the Department of Children and Family Services that raised serious concerns. Hi. Are you Miss Staples? Yes, how can I help you? So we got kind of a weird phone call. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know Latricia? No. No. I don't um, know anybody out here. Some lady called DCFS. And, what? And kind of made some claims that you had a child that accidentally shot themselves. Absolutely not. No, I, not. It, it sounds crazy to me too. That's what. Um, I am so sorry about this. My ex-husband. According to the tip, Staples' child had been involved in an accidental shooting, and his body was allegedly hidden in the basement. Staples met the officers at her door and quickly dismissed the allegations, attributing them to malicious rumors spread by her ex-husband's girlfriend. Okay. And it's been a constant... Wait, have we been here before? No, you've never come to my house for anything. I've been here for seven years and never had a problem in Rock Island. Yeah, I, I didn't know who you I were. Work, so. I work at Genesis Hospital. I'm a patient care tech. I'm a student at Eastern Iowa Community College. Okay. I have a business in Davenport. This girl has made threats towards me on Facebook, posting her gun up, saying that she's going to come to my Addy. It's just never ending. Right. Um, so they, they made some allegation that you had a son and he shot himself Sir, and he's in your basement. come on now. You think, look, just, look just, where I live. I, no, I get it. Just so I can check the box off, can I look in your basement real quick and I'll get no, out of here? No, you need a search warrant to do that. When the officers asked to check her basement, she firmly refused, citing her rights and the need for a search warrant. The interaction ended quickly, with Staples insisting she had nothing to hide. Investigate it, no, no matter how if crazy it sounds. If you want to do that, I would suggest you go through the proper protocols. I'm not about to let some crazy woman who has now has my husband mm. make Uranus accusations like this to have my rights violated doesn't No, I get it. That's what I'm that just, is not okay. I'm I just, have four that, girls in here. That's what I'm just asking. I'm not four children. I'm not trying to blame anything on you. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just I was just asking. Okay. That's this all. is nuts. That's all it is. Okay. Um. I have four children. Her in here. ex husband's new girlfriend's been causing her issues. It's, she it's thinks that's who it is. Ongoing. She's been harassing my provided. job. Harassing my place of business, harassing my children. I'm sick of it. <clears throat> okay. I've tried to get a restraining order against her, tried to get one against him. It's never ending. Yes. I cannot have any peace where I live. And you guys only have girls? Yes. Okay. I have four. Do you want to see them? No, no, no. They said it was a son. I was just curious Sir, if that's even true. It's not. Okay. I this this is I'm just I'm it's a never ending story with these no, I, two. I get, like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to bother you anything, but we get a call, no matter how crazy it sounds, we still got to come up and see if there's any truth. There. And this is crazy. It is. This is very crazy. Okay. I have been living here for six years. I never, my neighbors have never had a complaint. Don't you think no. if my neighbors would have heard some, some something <laughs> like that, they would have made a call or said something to somebody? I would believe so, yeah. Just think about it. It don't make no kind of sense. This girl is psycho. Okay. She's harassed my job. Do you know? I, her phone number by chance? No, I don't. Okay. I don't know her phone number. Okay. All right. Well, sorry to bother you, okay? The next day, on July 26th, 2023, the police returned to Staples' home, this time with a search warrant in hand. The officers arrived in the early evening, and Staples' four children were present in the home. Can you come out? What's going on? Well, just step on out. I'll, I'll explain everything. Wait a minute. My kid is in here. Okay, I understand that, but we have a and, search and warrant we're for the house. For your cooperation to be up front okay. with us. Okay, hold on. So step on out. No, no, no. step what out. What side of the house do you all have a search warrant for? The whole house. The whole, the whole house. house. You need to step out. Step out. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm going to well, open, we'll okay. open the door. Okay, open the door. We'll all walk in casually. We're not going to tear okay. up your house just or anything. Just so. Calm down. My sure, kids honey. are in here. Please. Okay. How many? Four. And where at in the house? They're upstairs. I just made them go upstairs. I don't want to scare my kids. Can we just can we just calm down? Officers are gonna walk in there with you, and I got a copy of the warrant right here for you, honey. Can I see the warrant, please? And I can call my lawyer. Can I see the warrant before we walk any further? I'm calm. We have a valid search warrant, so I understand, but you haven't let me see it yet, and you're walking through my house. It's right here. You don't run how you don't. You're not looking for Okay, okay. I'm trying to see. So, I need your phone, too. 
my phone. Well, that's not my phone. Well, my phone is taken. Hold on to that. So, okay. which which rooms are your kids in? Obviously not. They're upstairs. Okay. I am very cooperative. I'm not. While the children were kept upstairs under the supervision of an officer, the rest of the team began their search, focusing on the basement where they had been tipped off that something was amiss. Meanwhile, Staples was seated at the kitchen table for questioning. The officers pressed her on the existence of a child named Zion, whom she repeatedly denied having. You're, you're not under you're arrest not under or anything arrest. like that, okay? That's, okay? that's why I'm sitting here talking you're to not. you, okay? okay? I'm scared to death because right? I don't so, know what's going on. And so the reason we're here, okay, is because we're investigating a call that we, we had, okay? Officers came out and talked to you last night, correct? Yes. Okay. Um, we have to handle that real seriously, okay? Because the allegations are that you have a son and that he's deceased and he's here in this house. Okay, so that's that's where we're at right now. Do you have a son named Zion? No, I don't. You've never had a son named Zion? No. Are you claiming benefits for a kid named Zion? No, I haven't gotten any benefits for anyone. I just recently went through a situation where a young lady stole my identity and she falsely filed my taxes and my information and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I've been working with the FBI. I've been working with the IRS. There's been a lot of things popping up and I'm... Um, have you had any interactions with DCFS up in Chicago? I did. Okay. False calls that were made. Okay. Correct. Um, one of the calls... For Staples claimed that her identity had been stolen and used fraudulently, leading to confusion over benefits that might have been claimed in Zion's name. Despite her denials, the officers continued to search the property. About 16 minutes into the search, an officer entered the kitchen carrying documents they had found, including a birth certificate and social security card, both in the name of Zion Staples. Staples insisted the documents were not hers and suggested they had been fabricated as part of the identity theft. What is that? First tip for Zion Staples. Zion Staples. That's not mine. Sushi Staples. Child, this is, it's found in your room. We need, to get, we need to get this Stop figured out. Stop lying. this. lying. It's over. Where is that kid? You need to come clean because we're not going anywhere. This is just, you're just going to dig yourself a bigger grave now. I asked you if there's anything with... Zion's name in this house, you said no. I can't call a lawyer and let them know you are here. I can't call a lawyer to come here to my house while I'm being questioned if, by you. If you if you want an attorney right now, we we, we can we'll just, just we just we'll just be done. We'll be done. Right. At this point, officers placed Staples under arrest, but the full details of what had happened to her son were still unclear. So in turn for me. Oh no no no. I'm going to jail. What am I going to jail for? What have I You just done? admitted to fraud. So now you're going to railroad me on fraud? Railroad you what? We're trying to figure out where your kid is. My you're kid. saying that he doesn't this exist. Man, my kid. Walk out. We'll cuff you in front, okay? This is embarrassing. Can I, I, I can get in the car. As she was escorted out of her home in handcuffs, Staples continued to express disbelief and claimed innocence. Okay. We can, we're going to walk you to the car real quick and then we'll get you out of here, okay? <clears throat> My neighbor, they've been knowing me for six years. You see that badge over there? I work two jobs at Genesis. I hear you. I, hear I you. go to school out here. Oh, God, this is embarrassing. As the search extended into the night, officers eventually made a chilling discovery in the garage around 9.30 p.m. They found a circular metal trash can hidden in an inside corner.
The officers carefully removed the trash can from the garage, and while no body camera footage was released showing the contents, court documents later confirmed that it held the remains of a young boy. According to Rock Island County Coroner Brian Gustafson, an autopsy later revealed that the boy had died from a gunshot wound, and investigators determined that this had likely occurred in December 2022, months before the police had even been alerted. Facing several charges, including concealment of a death, obstruction of justice, and failure to report the death of a child, Staples eventually entered a plea agreement. On January 4th, 2024, she pled guilty to endangering the life of a child. In exchange, prosecutors dropped the more severe charges. On February 16th of 2024, Staples was sentenced to two years in prison with credit for time served. Records show that she was released from Logan Correctional Center on July 25th, 2024, though she remains on parole, which is expected to continue until January 25th, 2025.